taking a look at weather now, weather authority chief meteorologist Dan Sianka. Hey there, Veronica. Let's take a look at what's going on out there right now. We are seeing very warm temperatures across the region. No record highs today. Our records for most locations are in the triple digits, especially around the bay. So even though we got close to 90 in Salinas today, in the 90s in Santa Cruz, you know, the record's like 100 degrees, so we're still 10 degrees short, although it feels pretty darn toasty out there. Right now, still 91 on the north side of Santa Cruz. We've got a little sea breeze in Salinas and Monterey with upper 70s. It's still 88 in Watsonville, 93 in Gilroy, 95 in King City, so some serious heat out there. Now, skies are completely clear as far as clouds are concerned, but we have had some smoke drift in from the southeast. This smoke from the KMP and Windy Fires, that will be with us for the next couple of days, mostly overhead, but we don't really have that cleansing marine Layer right now so uh, some of the smoke may make it down into some of the lower elevations and if you are sensitive to it I, I see certainly could see some moderate air quality we've gone from good across the board to moderate in southern Monterey County already uh, places like the San Antonio Valley already seeing moderate air quality we could uh, border on unhealthy for sensitive groups here over the next couple of days so that compounding with the warm temperatures may make it a little bit more difficult for you to breathe so if you are sensitive maybe hang out indoors with the air conditioning on here for the next couple of days Bigger picture showing a cold front moving across the Midwest. That brought a little rain to our region early, early Sunday morning, but it's out of here and behind it, the offshore flow. Now, it's going to continue in a general sense tomorrow, but the strong gusty winds over the hills have already started to wind down, so I'm not expecting any major fire conditions as we head into the day tomorrow, but it will still be warm and dry across the region. In fact, as we look at future cast, I'm going to fast forward this really quick. You're going to see clear skies overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll have a light off offshore breeze in the morning, which is going to bring that heat right to the coast once again, and it may even be a little bit warmer than it was today before a little bit of a southerly breeze kicks up out of the ocean. You can almost barely see it on these tiny little arrows because the winds will be light, but that will start to cool the north and east sides of the bay first, maybe the Pebble Beach area as well, and then eventually late tomorrow night, we may see a little bit of fog develop right along the coastline as this wind starts to pick up again, but by and large, most locations will be warmer than they were today, and take a look at some of the readings in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Back to 98 in Ben Lomond, 99 in Boulder Creek tomorrow and staying in the 80s in Santa Cruz and Capitola. So another beautiful day on the beaches tomorrow, especially on the north side of the bay. Well, even really any side of the bay looking pretty nice beach wise tomorrow. So we look to Watsonville, you'll be in the upper 80s, low 90s in Salinas and Prunedale tomorrow, mid 90s in Hollister, 97 in Gilroy. You know, these are summertime inland temperatures, but you don't see the 80s near the coast too often. This is the time you do, time of year, I should say. Castroville 83 and a mid 80s tomorrow in Marina. How about the Monterey Peninsula? What are we looking at there? Well, another toasty day, mid 80s in Monterey and Seaside. How about 87 in Carmel? But just down the road, a little bit cooler in Pebble Beach. And I think for most of the afternoon and early evening hours, it'll feel a lot cooler for you. Farther south, 93 in Carmel Valley. And I've got King City and Boulder Creek as a tie for our hot spots tomorrow at 99 degrees. So it's going to be a hot one in the Salinas Valley. Over the next seven days, temperatures cooling pretty quickly. I think on Wednesday, we'll have some foggy low clouds out there. And then the rest of the week right now, I've got in the upper 60s, which is more seasonable to slightly cool with a few low clouds possible sticking around through the weekend. There is some forecast uncertainty this weekend as the a cutoff upper level low is just me, me, meandering around in the computer models, and that can have some big swings on what we could expect. So we'll have to narrow down what that's going to mean for us. But in the meantime, I expect pretty seasonable conditions. Inland areas also starting to cool on Wednesday, which, by the way, is the autumnal equinox right around lunchtime or so. That's the official start of fall, I guess. And then mostly sunny, seasonable conditions for the rest of the week.